Hi guys. Uh, in this video, I would like to talk to you about the Google Advanced Search page. So when you head to Google, uh, for example, over here, or maybe over here, let me keep this page. So yeah, google.com, there's no place here to have advanced search. Um, this is Google search, advertising, business, how much, about, settings, uh, search settings, advanced search here. This is where you find it. So if you go to advanced search or you just go google.com slash advanced underscore search, you will land on this page. All right. And this is Google advanced search. It's very important that at this stage of a digital marketer that you um, know uh, how to use the advanced search. Let's take a look. Find pages with, okay, all these keywords. So type the important words that you would like to uh, find. This exact word or phrase, so exactly this word. What does it mean, all these words and exact words? Uh, Google, the way that Google works is uh, based on relevance. So Google, for example, if you type in something like women's um, hats, Google will also um, return results like ladies instead of women, uh, women's uh, ladies uh, in hats or ladies headwear or ladies caps also. So cap, hat, uh, whatever uh, synonym um, for the word hat, whatever synonym or related keyword for the word um, uh, woman. Even related words is not only synony synonyms, excuse me, but also like, uh, like um, a woman's accessories. If hats and the scarves are considered part of like accessories in the clothing uh, industry, then also this kind of uh, uh, um, this kind of uh, uh, search uh, 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 keywords uh, would be, or search terms would be triggered. Yeah. So whatever like a synonym or related, you see how related is also very broad. Ladies is like women's. Hats is like caps is like any other uh, 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 um, synonym for the word. Also, if ladies hats or women's hats in within a category like accessories, women's accessories in the clothing or the, the, the fashion industry, also this will be triggered. When you put the exact word, you exclude all these related keywords. So exactly I want this word, hat or uh, uh, cap. Or I forgot what is it called. For example, the um, uh, Asian hats or or Mexican hats. So um, yeah, you can type it and say exact word. I want this word, or any of these words. So either one. So this is or the or operator. If you go to your Google, let's say that this is Google.com, right? And you type in whatever word you want to search for. Um, uh, car insurance don't say the car insurance um, guide for example don't say that there is no need for that this will slow down the process these are keywords words that we drop and uh, don't say of uh, drop that don't say and don't say any of that so just say the words and drop all these unnecessary uh, uh, draws like of and the now, when you're doing OR, if you type OR in capital, then it's different from OR in small uh, letters, yeah? If you're saying, uh, what? Uh, uh, if you're saying, uh, for example, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, Nora. Yesterday, the, two, the past two days were so hectic for me. I, I just, my brain is so sluggish. Like what? Uh, or. Uh, uh, okay. Jigsaw. Or. Hannibal Lecter. Let's see. 
we have 367 thousands. How is this different if we put R in capital? You see, the difference is bigger. Why? Because the first one, OR, wasn't read as OR as a logical operator. It's actually a dross that been uh, 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 got rid of. Look, 367. What if we put off 363? Okay, not a big difference. You know why? Because this is just a dross. However, when we put OR, this means give me all the results of this and this together. N not and, like, uh, or is like uh, either Jigsaw is correct, Hannibal Lecter is correct. Meaning, if, they ha if we have a page, a website, just talking about Jigsaw, it will be shown in the results. Another showing Hannibal, it will, it will show in the results when we have or. So we will have all the websites that dealing with Jigsaw alone, Hannibal alone, or Jigsaw and Hannibal in the same website. However, when we have something like that, or, or off, whatever it is, then this means that these two keywords, probably most likely, whatever relevant to them, should be on the uh, website, yeah? So, okay, very good. Okay, none of these words, so you are excluding, you are excluding, yeah? So. When we want to exclude, I'm going to show you later maybe, let me just uh, uh, slowly, we can use the negative sign or the minus here. You put the minus sign uh, in the Google search to uh, use, uh, uh, to, to get rid of a certain word. Like for example, I want minus or minus Hannibal and uh, Jigsaw. So you see only Jigsaw. Hannibal, no Hannibal, and it's, what, what, 200, about 200 million, wow, well, maybe because the, the, the new Jigsaw movie is coming up soon, all right, so what about the exact keywords, the exact keywords, for example, here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna want only Jigsaw like that, I'm gonna put it in between quotes, so now jigsaw, so exactly jigsaw. So jigsaw luxury British women wear, okay. Jigsaw movie. Now I have more narrowed down results. Do you see what, what we're trying to do? Exactly jigsaw movie, not ex a jigsaw women's wear and all that. And here I have 48,000 instead of millions and millions of results. Good, okay. So for exact words, we have the quotes here, the double quotes for the exclusion, we excluding keywords, we add the, the minus sign. And now numbers ranging from this to this, what do you do? Do you think that you just type it like any number, I want temperature in Japan, uh, 22 to 27, something like that, you think this would work? No, it won't. Look at the numbers. Put two full stops between the numbers and add the unit measurement. So look at the example, 10 to 35 kilograms. Yeah, here from pounds and so on. Let's uh, try something interesting. Let's say uh, cinema tickets, Japan, uh, how, uh, what would be... I, I maybe I spent a hundred years. I haven't had the time to go to the cinema. Is it was it eight hundred? I think it was one thousand six hundred. Okay, yen. Let's see where this takes us. Yeah. So, yeah, here ranging from three hundred to eight hundred yen. So what if we put it as eight hundred? So now we have uh, about one million point one. 800 to 1600 like that you see it read it as an address you see the difference guys isn't that amazing now that you know that so definitely you need the two dots here in between two full stops here and also the um the currency 
Good, good, good. Or you can just visit this site, the advanced search, and type in here for all keywords. Uh, this is the usual. This is the usual as if you're going into this site, the Google site, and putting it in there. Or you can go here and put in the exact keyword and advanced search. Click on advanced search, and this would be exactly the same as putting whatever word like this in between and double quotes or any of these keywords. Any of these keywords meaning you are going to use the uh, here you can separate them with what or and separate them with um, yeah you don't separate them so you keep writing or so if you want you put jigsaw or Hannibal or uh, who? Uh, uh, what? An, an appell? What, what was the name of the... An, an appell. Okay. So... Oh, man. Made a mistake. Here we go. So, this is a lot of results. Because we're talking about here Jigsaw, Hannibal, or uh, Annibal. Do, do we have a... a here... You see how the how the how these operators are modifying the results you see that yeah this is Hannibal the, uh, the the series not the movie anyway let's not get distracted here and there and this is for the none of these keywords you can add the negative if you add the minus sign for example to minus jigsaw different from minus uh, okay minus uh, uh, jigsaw movie so here, look at the results, 52 million. And how about if we put it in between brackets? It's a different result, so it's gonna be less. Yeah, you see? What is the difference? The difference is we, I subtract, I don't want to see any website that doesn't have Jigsaw Movie in this manner. But when you put it Jigsaw Movie like that, then it's talking about Jigsaw, but it doesn't have necessarily in its writing, its editorial content, Jigsaw and then followed by movie, the word movie. It's anything that Jigsaw uh, film, you see? Jigsaw film could be also, uh, 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 or write, uh, anything outside Jigsaw movie, Jigsaw film will be excluded. But Jigsaw film will actually show as a result, yeah? But if you put it in between two... I, I, yeah, two quotes, then Jigsaw Film will not show. Yeah, you need a space. Okay, good, good, good. Narrow down the results further if you want any language, certain region, especially for e-commerce people. You want to search certain keywords, last updated, maybe fresh, uh, certain site or domain if you are looking for something that edu or that uh, uh, government or that uh, biz uh, in terms appearing anywhere in the page in the title in the text in the url in the links okay let me a little bit deviate a little bit from the topic for example me as a researcher and uh, not only a lecturer but also as a researcher this is very important parameters for me for you also, if you decide to go for a, a research project. So if I want to see the results of, for example, I'm searching blockchain, yeah, in eHealth. I can find out blockchain and eHealth in terms of in title. In the title, it says blockchain and e, in, in, in eHealth. Or um, I could look into it into the text of the page, yeah, or in a certain URL, or in certain links of the page, most likely we use these two to um, finalize our list of results. Save search here, film type, uh, file type, if you're looking for a certain file type and all, and usage rights and all. Okay, uh, if you're looking for a certain tool or a certain application and all that. That's quite interesting, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, guys. Uh, there are certain here, for example, this uh, uh, this website, I um, just wanted to take a look. This is what I'm trying to tell you. For example, if you go and get on advanced search and search for SEO, let's, let's do that. Let's do SEO, for example, and hit enter. 
you will find 656 million results, right? Now, if you put it in in title, all in title, for example, by going to advanced search or let's go to advanced search, yeah? And put it over here and then put in title. It's 13 million only, you see? So how about not in title uh, in the text of the page? We'll have more results, right? Yeah, 500 million, you see? So uh, this is very quite in, in interesting to see how, uh, what is this? Yeah. Um, so these are five practical uses of advanced search that I would like you to watch, please. Uh, it's quite a long video, it's like 17 minutes, but it is a very interesting video, guys. I think at this stage, if you're taking a course in, in, in digital marketing and you're doing um, keyword analysis as a blogger or as even um, an e commercer I think this is very important for you to understand and master so at this stage I'm gonna let you watch this video guys in the, in the next slide and then I'll see you in the next video